Hey, this is Jonathan, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to change a theme. So, for example, we can make it um, look like Windows um, with this taskbar with the buttons and the text. So, basically, we can change it to look more like Windows, or we can make it look just like Mac OS if we truly wanted to, or we can make it look more modern and make it more classical. So, it's kind of there just to customize the way that the operating system will look and feel. Okay, let's get started right now. So what we're going to do is go to full screen um, by going to view, full screen mode, and now switch. Okay, so once, it, once you're on full screen, what you guys can now do is go to our start menu, which is where this feather is at. Go into applications, and now select Haku Depot. Once I've selected it, go to search terms and search up for theme manager. And as you guys can see, this is one that we want to install. Click on the install button and it should be installed now. If it shows up a license agreement, just click on to accept and then after that, it should now be installed. It is as simple as that. Close out of it by clicking on this box up here and we have basically installed it. Now we've finished our first step. Now I'm gonna teach you guys how to open it and start using the software to change your theme. Okay. Um, so to do that, what you guys need to do is click back onto our, onto our start menu, go into privileges. Once you go to privileges, now go to theme manager. And now as you guys can see, um, this is a very, very simple, um, very simple software where I'll be able to add in my own themes or be able to load up for our themes that it provides. So these are the themes that you guys can select. So we can select uh, Stargate and Atanic. Um, of I don't know what that is. We can also select this one, Strange Atanic. We can select iOS um, Lantern. We can select um, a Windows Shop theme. We can also select Smoke theme, or we can add in a Nukio. I don't know what that is, but it seems like a cool theme. We can also select the most uh, modern. We can select Gonzish. We can accept. We can select olive, and we can also accept um, apply matrix too. And you can also apply the um, the original theme, which is Haku. And you can also apply for circus theme and tune tracker. So they do have a few options available by default. But you can add in more themes. Um, once you do some changes to the system, we can obviously add in more themes if we truly wanted to. So what I'm going to do is click on to the original HQ because I've accidentally clicked on something. So yeah, to apply it to that, what we need to do is double click onto it and click onto the apply button and that should activate it. So for example, if I really liked the Win2K um, theme, then all I need to do is click on to apply and that should apply it for Windows um, look, as you guys can see. This taskbar and I can select the applications that I'm using and so on. So it's kind of like gives you a window sort of look and feel. And you can also view the details by clicking onto here. And that should basically give us some details, it says to do. So I guess they didn't add anything onto it. And these options, um, it just gives you some extra settings that you guys can do. So you can have like a win app skin, we can apply, we can we can deselect some stuff. So this is more of a um, customization of what you want to do within the um, within the theme. But this is just optional, you guys don't have to mess around with this. But if you guys truly, truly wanted to make some changes to it, then please go to options and then here it says background, it says desk bar, so I'll be able to change a few, s a few changes over here. So yeah, this is how you guys will be able to feed the details and options and apply the um, the theme. So I'm going to click back onto Haku and now I'm going to have this theme activated because I really like Haku um, by default. So to add in a new theme, so we made some changes to it, such as to customize this to be bigger or maybe even smaller, or um, have it off the bottom, or have like a Mac OS stuff look, then all you guys here do is click onto new and make this one into Mac OS. Once I've done that, click onto new and that should create a new theme. So yeah, once you did some customization, such as making stuff bigger, making stuff smaller, then once you go back to Haku, yeah, that's a similar one. Um, if I apply to that one, 
and if we go back to Mac PS and click on to apply and as you guys can see it has applied the Mac PS theme and um, so yeah this is how we're going to be able to make a new theme if you guys want to do the later theme such as that we don't want it anymore or it's taken up too much of a storage space or that we never used it in my entire life then just click onto the delete button and that should delete the theme and that should be deleted now um, so I'm going to go back to hack you and as you guys can see there's no screenshot so to be able to add in a screenshot all guys need to do is click on to add screenshot and then from here uh, Aaron, okay I'm not worried about that hold on me because I don't have it selected oh wait because it shows up that Mac PS thing I'm going to close out of this because sometimes it does glitches I'm going to go back to privileges I'm going to go back to theme manager I'm going to go back to hack you theme and then from here I can add in a screenshot um, error in add screenshot read only file system okay so it seems like my file this is um, read only um, you can obviously click on to more themes and I do believe this should take you to a place where I'll be able to download more themes to the system but it doesn't seem like there's any available um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply the matrix too because I really love this theme a, a whole lot. Click on to apply and now that theme is now activated and I love the look of it. It looks more like, um, looks like a hacker's um, theme, basically what a hacker would use. Um, now I'm going to exit from this because I like this theme and now as you guys can see I can start using this desktop with a brand new theme. Isn't this awesome? So anyway guys, I hope that you guys found this video very useful. Um, I personally love this um, software, um, but what I prefer is to have more themes available because there's only like really um, classic Windows theme available. I wish there was also um, Mac OS theme available, so the system will look more like Mac OS. But for the next episode, I'm going to show you guys how to add in basically a taskbar which will look similar to Mac OS, so a taskbar that will be in the center, that will be completely similar to, um, to Mac OS, and that software is called Dirtbox. Um, so in the next, ne next episode, I'll show you guys how to use Dirtbox to make the desktop look a little bit like uh, Mac OS, and how to obviously use Theme Manager to be able to apply for theme, so that way guys can switch to it anytime I want. So yeah, Dirtbox, is a very simple um, application I would say that makes it look similar to Mac OS with this taskbar. So anyway guys, if you like this video please put a like, please subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.